Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So the fight is finally here. It's this weekend. Canelo Alvarez versus Jamel Charlo. And a lot of people are giving their take on who they think is going to win the fight. But I think it's interesting because old media, they keep trying to create this narrative. They keep trying to defend Canelo Alvarez just in case Jamel Charlo ends up beating the much bigger Canelo Alvarez. They're making excuses for Canelo already saying, oh, well, you know, he doesn't look like he's the same. You know, he looked like he slowed down. He's past his prime or saying things like Jamel Charlo is bigger than Canelo because of the fact that they know Jamel is moving up two way classes. So it looks like he's fighting against a naturally smaller guy, which he is. We know that to be the case because Jamel Charlo just recently came out and he admitted that it's very difficult for him to maintain the weight of 168 because once he starts to work out, he's losing too much weight. This is what Jamel talked about, which proves what I've been telling you guys all along. There is a difference from fight weight and the weight that you walk around. Just because you walk around heavier does not mean you're gonna be comfortable fighting at that same walk around weight. But there are exceptions. There are special fighters that can do things like that. And we're gonna see if Jamel Charlo can pull it off this weekend. So while old media is trying to go out of their way to defend Canelo Alvarez, no matter what happens this weekend, Mexican greats like Eric Morales, he's saying that Jamel Charlo is too small. In fact, he did an interview with old media member Sean Zito, who works with Fight Hype, and he was so disgusted with the way the reporter was going out of his way to try to defend Canelo Alvarez that Eric Morales, he just completely walked out of the interview. It was a simple case of, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. And that's exactly what Eric Morales did when he was asked about Canelo versus Charlo. You could sense that Eric Morales, he was just annoyed that Canelo Alvarez was fighting against a smaller guy who had to move up two weight classes to fight him. What do you think of the Canelo Charlo fight? Is it a competitive fight? Pues una pelea, pues es una pelea que armaron. Este Charlo es, se mueve, camina, pero ah, muy chiquito de peso. So he's saying that it's a it's a good fight, but um, it's a fight that Charlo he moves around, but he's too small of a fighter. What do you? With Canelo, his last three fights looks like he's slowing down a little bit since becoming undisputed. Do you think he'll be rejuvenated for this fight? No sé, en realidad no, no sé mucho de Canelo. So that was an interview that Eric Morales did with Fight Hype. Did you guys hear what the reporter said to Eric Morales? He said, it looked like Canelo Alvarez has slowed down in the last three fights. This is what old media says when they think that the opponent, which in this case is Jamel Charlo, actually has a very good chance of beating Canelo Alvarez. The reporter, along with the rest of old media, they're trying to say, just in case Jamel beats Canelo, it wasn't because Jamel was better, it was because this is an old version of Canelo Alvarez. He's no longer in his prime. This is a version of Canelo Alvarez that has already slowed down in his career. So just remember guys, Canelo Alvarez, he just turned 33 years old. Jamel Charlo is also 33 years old. Now Terrence Crawford, he's 35, he's about to turn 36. And Floyd Mayweather was 36 years old when he put on one of his best performances of his career, completely dominating Canelo Alvarez, who was 23. 23, the same age that Devin Haney was when he beat Lomachenko and the same age that Lopez was when he beat Lomachenko. I'm telling you guys, this is the reason why Eric Morales, he walked out of the interview because he sees how biased the reporter is. Canelo is fighting against someone who's moving up two weight classes, the same age he is, and the reporter is making excuses for the bigger, stronger, more experienced fighter. What do you think this same reporter would be saying if it was Canelo Alvarez that was moving up two weight classes to fight a Jamel Charlo, who was the undisputed champion at 168? Do you think this reporter would care if Jamel's last performance wasn't his best? Well, that's a rhetorical question. It makes no sense to say that Canelo Alvarez has slowed down in his last three fights. His last fight before the John Ryder fight was Bivol. 
And we already know that any fighter with foot movement, a great jab, gives Canelo Alvarez problems. This has been throughout his entire career. So if you say that Canelo Alvarez has slowed down, he's not in his prime, when was he at his prime? Was he at his prime when he fought against Amir Khan? Was he at his prime when he fought against Kovalev? When he fought Floyd Mayweather? Or when he fought Lara? Or when he fought Golovkin the first two times? Is that when he was in his prime? Because he looked extremely flawed in all of those fights. So what age was Canelo Alvarez at his best? Was he at his best when he was fighting against fighters like Abney Yildirim? When he was knocking out Caleb Plant? The Caleb Plant fight was one of Canelo Alvarez's biggest wins, and he was getting outboxed in that fight. Canelo Alvarez has never got a flawless victory when he has stepped up in competition. And I'm talking about stepping up in high competition. When I say a flawless victory, I'm talking about Crawford versus Spence. I'm talking about Mayweather versus Canelo. Canelo Alvarez's most dominant performances of his career was against fighters like James Kirkland. I can't even say Amir Khan because even Amir Khan was completely outboxing Canelo before he knocked out Amir Khan. Even the DAZN commentators, who are extremely biased in favor of Canelo, they had Amir Khan winning the fight at the time that he got knocked out. So Canelo's most dominant performances, wins, was over fighters like Caleb Smith, James Kirkland, Liam Smith, Abney Yildirim, or Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. These are some of Canelo Alvarez's most dominant wins. And I believe despite the fact that Jamel Charlo is moving up two weight classes and he's struggling just to maintain the weight 168, according to Jamel Charlo, this is going to still be one of Canelo Alvarez's most difficult fights, even with all of those advantages. It's just amazing to me that while once again, old media keeps trying to make these excuses saying that Jamel is really bigger than Canelo, despite the fact that he's moving up two weight classes, it's only like the Mexican legends, when they talk about this fight, they're the ones that will tell you straight up. Canelo is fighting a smaller guy, but at the same time, they do watch what they say because they don't want to piss off the Mexican fans as well. So when it comes to Eric Morales, once again, his approach was, don't say nothing at all about Canelo Alvarez, because if I tell you guys how I really feel about him, you guys are going to get your feelings hurt. You guys, meaning other Mexican fans. Once again, the reporter is trying to coach Eric Morales into making excuses for Canelo Alvarez, but the problem was Eric Morales was not on code with old media. So when he hears a reporter trying to make excuses for the much bigger guy, that's naturally two weight classes bigger than Charlo, Eric Morales is thinking to himself like, what are you talking about? With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.